All right, crew. Are we ready to go? Yep. It's time to descend, everybody. After adventures on the African plains, Wild Earth Deep Ocean Safari dives under the waves with Philippe Cousteau and the National Marine Sanctuary Program. How did this new adventure happen? Wild Earth's interactive photo safari allows guests to navigate through a rich, game-like environment, creating unique adventures every time they visit. Awarded a prestigious Thea honor in 2005, this experience has intrigued and educated explorers around the world. From a meeting at an AZA conference, NOAA embraced Wild Earth's unique ability to tell their story of conservation, to spread the word about the riches of the National Marine Sanctuaries and the need to keep them pristine and thriving for generations to come. The RideWorks created a proof-of-concept demo of blue sharks dynamically attacking a few thousand sardines in a bait ball, and NOAA personnel were impressed with the capability of the system. During Blue Sky meetings, all sorts of ideas were explored before the team focused on a realistic portrayal of the Pacific coast. With a wide variety of marine life, depths, and habitats, they focused on Monterey Bay and the surrounding sanctuaries, as it would allow for a lush, multi-branch storyline for the photo safari framework. Knowing his passion for the ocean, conservation, and education using innovative digital media, Noah suggested a partnership with Philippe Cousteau and his Earth Echo International nonprofit organization. With a script vetted by NOAA's subject matter experts, the RideWorks traveled to NOAA's headquarters to record the voiceover commentary with Philippe and Michiko Martin, an accomplished oceanographer and a leading educator in the Sanctuary program. The development team, writers, subject matter experts, and animators who were located all around the world, communicated through a net-based project forum. Trips were made to meet face-to-face -face with experts, and the creative lead on the project experienced a 110-foot dive firsthand. Documents were posted for comments and reference material poured in from a network of specialists. As art assets were developed, they were made available to subject matter experts to review, and things were reworked, sometimes going through multiple iterations before getting the desired lifelike result. From a simple bait ball scene with a few thousand fish, Production on deep ocean grew to include over 30 species and four distinct environments, including an enhanced bait ball with over 10,000 sardines attacked by multiple predator species. Since the launch at the McWane Science Center, guest reaction has been enthusiastic. They actively engage the experience that is built on strong ocean literacy messages, and they become a part of the story and continue it. They are rewarded for their efforts with personal souvenirs, photos, and compelling memories of the ocean's importance to their lives.